Hey guys, I got a lot of questions about how to set up a gear indicator on your Pro Dash. Uh, with I made a video a little while ago about a shock travel sensor on a shifter, and uh, people were wondering how you can make a gear indicator. So I'm going to show you how I do it and um, do it this way, do it a different way. Uh, don't do it. I don't care. But here's how I do it. So I um. I'm in the software. If you've watched any of my other videos, you already know some of this stuff, but we're going to go into the IOICF and we're going to go and look at the gear position input. We're online with the computer and we're going to look at the gear position input, right? So uh, this is how how I did it, right? I, uh, I've just got a, my scale for inches up here versus voltage down here, right? And then... So you've got your 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 uh, input already configured. It should be already configured if you watched my last video. Then what we're going to do is we're going to toggle the gauge panel, and uh, we're right here where it says gear position. If you're looking down here, 2.8 foot. Let's make it let's make it idiot proof here. So hang on. Let's do this. Gear position. Uh, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Whoops. Notice we're going to do a value format of 1.23 for better precision so right now the shifter is in park and it is 2.84 volts so write that down then slide it into reverse 1.89 neutral 1.40 high gear 0.95 low gear 0.52 0.51 so once we have those values we are going to we have those written down we're assuming that you just wrote those down. I'm going to close this out, and we're going to create an output, okay? So go in here, go to outputs, and I've already created one, and it's called gear indicator, right? It's a PWM. You don't have to assign it to any pin. So we're going to go to configure. So there's no switched inputs or outputs triggers because this input's always going to be on. We're going to go to PWM setup, change it over to duty cycle, I use an x-axis of gear position, y-axis of RPM, just so it's easy. It's At all RPMs, it's going to be doing the same exact thing. So if we take our values that we just recorded, and I made the uh, I made them, you know, 100% duty cycle, 80, 60, 40, and 20. It's just easy numbers. You know, if you've got a three-speed, you got to break this up into six segments. Uh, but this is a two-speed uh, turbo 400, so I've only got five gear positions right so write down your duty cycle numbers next to your uh you, you know what gear it's supposed to be in right so we're online right now the car is in park and we have 20 percent duty cycle so if we look down here right like see where that little yellow dot is right and watch this there we go we've got 40 percent duty cycle in reverse We've got 60% um, duty cycle in neutral. We've got 20 or 80% duty cycle in uh, high gear, second gear. And then we've got 100% duty cycle in low gear. So if you notice, what I did was I used some break points in between just so that we could segregate it to not kind of try to drift between the two. You know what I mean? So, um, again... And it, and you know the reason I the reason I used two values, even though our our number is uh, you know two point eight two I think it was for voltage. I just did a little bit of a range so that if you did you know if your finger banging the hell out of your shifter, um, it it still stays within that that range of uh, of travel. So it also depends on how rigid your shock mount is. Um, and your shifter and your cable and all that kind of stuff. So just give yourself a little bit of range, a little bit of leeway. I believe the actual value for this was like 1.92. So I started at 1.85 and went up to 2.0. So hopefully you understand what I mean by that, that range so you have a little bit of slop in it, right? Um, and we're not going to use this for anything beyond putting letters on the dash. But um, if you're like me, you like to be accurate with things. So give yourself a little a uh, little leeway here so once you have the uh, gear indicator output your pwm output 
uh, created, that is the easy part. What we're about to do now is I'm going to turn off the screen recording uh, software and fire up the camera, and you're gonna I'm going to show you how I do this on the actual dash display uh, and how to set your warnings and your colors and whatnot so that it um so it all makes sense. So pause it now. Make sure you've got this already done, right? So if you've already got a uh, shock travel sensor on there, make sure you've already got this done, right? So, um, and then we're gonna we're gonna figure out the rest of it. So, hang on. All right. So we're sitting inside of my street car, as you can tell from the cup holders, and there's an armrest and all that stuff. But anyway, uh, what I'm showing you is my fiance put it all on her phone so we have what uh what percentage it is versus voltage versus what we want it to indicate right so those are your notes that you should have done from earlier in this video um, and now we're going to go into the actual dash so something i want to point out that a lot of people don't seem to know that usb cable that came with your pro dash that you probably like threw away or whatever you threw it in the same uh, bin that you threw your instructions in that you didn't read you can plug a mouse into it and you know one of those guys right there and uh and then what happens is you have a mouse on the screen so that you don't have to use your um your big sausage fingers to do this because it's going to be difficult with your sausage fingers um especially when they're like covered in grease or whatever. So we've got a mouse and now we're going to create some gauge indicators. So we're going to go to customize. When we click customize, hit okay. When, when we click customize, it's going to bring you to the last screen that you were just on, okay? So if you wanted to go to a different screen, you would click somewhere, you know, on the dash and you would hit next, right? So we just click here and you'd go to next if you want to go to the, or previous, if you want to go to the next or previous screen. So, we're going to build a, uh, an indicator, right? So, I've already done the park on this one. I'm going to show you how to do, you know, reverse, neutral, um, you know, low and high gear. So, left click, hit add, hit gauge. And what we're going to do is scroll down until we find our output, right? The output that we made, that we didn't pin to anything, and we called it. Notice, don't, don't be confused and grab the... Oh, where did I let it go? Gear position input. You don't want that. You want the output. And outputs are always underneath the uh, the inputs. That's why I called it gear indicator. So we're going to grab that output, hit OK. And then we're going to select a symbol. Okay. So down here in the corner, you see where it says gear indicator, real big and doofy looking. And we're going to hit customize. So when we hit customize, the label says gear indicator so left click that click on text clear that out and we're going to do reverse right so you make sure it's in capital you know it's shift r hit okay text size is 35 i believe i got this one at 50. uh i think this one's 50. so we're going to change it to 50 so it's a little bit bigger um and i don't know if you live down south or not, but if you see that little gnat flying around, they're, they're friggin' everywhere. They just don't go. So if you live in the south and you have these little gnats this year, let me know because I, I don't know if it's just like my area or if it's everywhere down here. But anyway, so hit OK. And then we need to change the range from 0 to 1 up to 0 to 100 because we're doing duty cycle. So change that to 100. Hit OK. Now we need to make the... Uh, the gauge change colors, right? So that we know what gear we're actually in. So we go to warnings. We're going to, uh, oh, this is the way I do it, low warning. And first we're gonna change the normal color to white. And then we're gonna change the low warning. Now remember this is reverse. So if we refer back to what we um, have saved in our phone that my fiance so, uh, I'm slacking, I'm sorry. Yeah, there you go, exactly. If we refer back to what we have saved in our phone, uh, reverse is 
uh, 40%, right? So we're going to make this 40%, and we're going to hit OK. And then the low alarm, we're going to change this to 39%, hit OK. We're going to change the low alarm color to white, so it indicates like normal. And then we're going to change the low warning to red. Oh, no, no, no. This one's green. green. Okay. Um, and remember, we have high warnings off, right? So we hit OK. And uh, we're done. So now we've got them stacked on top of each other. So we go left click, move, and then when you click on the R, you just roll it on over here. There you go. So uh, I'm going to show you that it works. So we hit save. Well, it should work, I should say. So right now the shifter's in park. And if you notice up here, it's green. And then when we come back down to reverse, it's red, or green, I mean. So park, reverse, park, reverse, park, reverse. So let's do one more. And uh, just in case you guys missed something, right? So we go customize, hit OK. We're going to left click, hit add, hit gauge. We're going to scroll down here until we find gear indicator. Hit OK. We're going to select a symbol. Left click, customize, change this to a capital N. Hit OK. Text size is 50. Hit OK. Warnings. This is now going to be, since we are in neutral, we are going to have 60% duty cycle. So we're going to turn off the high warning, go to lower warning, and you could use the high warning if you want. I'm just, I'm just not, so it's okay. So I did this intentionally. Why did this just fault out and, all, and not let me change this to 60? Because this is coming. I'm sure that this question is coming. So if you didn't watch the whole video and you asked this question, I'm not answering you. I'm going to show you why. Hit escape. Okay. Our range is only zero to one. So on the first one, we changed range from zero to 100. This one, we left it at one. So we can't high alarm at 60 because the range is only going zero to one. So change the range back to 100. Hit OK. Go to warnings. Low warning, 60. Hit OK. Low alarm, 59. Hit OK. Low alarm color, white. Hit OK. Normal, white. Hit OK. Color for low warning, same green that we've that's different. Same green that we had. Hit OK. Big pop boop. And now we've got an N. So we left click and notice that they're stacked on top of each other. So there's a check mark next to this N and not the R. So it's, it's asking you like, hey, which one did you click on? We clicked on the N. So we're going to hit move the N. And we're going to move this Jesse on out over here. And that's a little bit too far. So we're going to left click again. We're going to hit move. And this is what me and my fiance argue over is that which way is straight and evenly spaced. So uh, let's see, let's test it. Hit save. Once you hit save, there we go. We're in neutral. Reverse, park. Reverse, neutral. Now when we go, so now we're in high gear, but there's no indicator for high gear. So let's go ahead and do it. It doesn't take that long, so I'll just show you all of them. Uh, Let's see, customize, hit OK, and I'm going to act like you people can hear me, and uh, or that, that people, you people can talk back to me, so we're going to hit gauge, and then what are we going to select? Gear indicator. And, uh, so I taught, I've taught a bunch of classes, and people never speak up at classes. Everybody acts like they know everything until you get called out on it, and... Uh, you know, it's kind of annoying. So if you go to any classes, no matter whose classes they are, speak up, say something. All right, I'm going to go to symbol, and we're going to customize the symbol. We're going to change this to, um, we're going to clear this, and we're going to change this to two, right? So that's for second gear, because that's the way my shifter's laid out. Look at my shifter. That's the way it's laid out, right? So it goes neutral, second, first. Uh, hit OK. Change our font size to 50. Whoops, clear. 50. Okay. Range, again, we got to change that range, right? So make that 100. Warnings. So we're going to enable a low warning, turn off the high warning, 
change our color here for normal here white and then we're in high gear so high gear should be 80 percent right so we're going to make our low alarm 79 we're going to make our low warning clear 80 we're going to make our color this obnoxious green and um, we're done hit ok now there's our two left click notice the two is is checked hit move left click again grab it and me and Laura will argue over this in a minute there we go those are all pretty close but the P is off uh, uh, one more left click add gauge scroll down so it can be a little bit of a nuisance but it's really not that difficult especially with a uh, with a mouse and this is really what I was getting at with the mouse thing is that it um, it makes a huge difference if you if you've got one because you can rip through this so we change this one here to one okay font size 50 okay uh, range is going to be 100 okay and now our warnings so low gear is going to be 100 percent duty cycle so um, let's just make this clear low warning 100 this is going to be 99 okay we have to disable high and enable low change this to whoops change that to white change this one to obnoxious green change this one to white and if I'm going too fast for you um, rewind and watch it again uh, click move and click and drag and move it on over here so we're all done hit save now as we cycle through gears we've got our indicator so you can also get pretty fancy and make like some um adobe you know if you're like mr photoshop um or if you're ryan mccain you probably got like a a little bowser guy jumping out of the screen doing something crazy like he's like a, a damn wizard with all that photoshop and all the that stuff that he does but i'm pretty simple i'm a pretty basic person this will work for me uh this is the screen that we use uh you know when when actually racing the car we got egts here and map rpm up here all the vital stuff that we care about you know when making a pass so i'll show you a different screen that we've already done do to do do to do do to do right there and we used a red background there so this one's a little bit busier this is kind of what we use for street driving this thing around but as you can see same functionality there you go so hopefully um this answers some questions and the shannon davis so hopefully this helps you out with your fj cruiser project i'm sure you'll call me about it uh, i'm kidding uh you don't watch these videos anyway you just call me anyway uh hopefully this helps see you